In 2024, the European Society of Cardiology introduced a new classification system for hypertension, significantly altering the previous framework. Here are the key changes and details regarding the new classification. New classification systems. Reduction in categories. The classification system has been streamlined from seven categories to three main groups. Normal blood pressure, systolic BP, more than 120 mm mercury, and diastolic, less than 80 mm mercury. Elevated blood pressure, systolic 120 to 139 mm mercury, or diastolic 70 to 89 mm mercury. This new category identifies individuals at increased cardiovascular risk who may benefit from lifestyle modifications and possibly medication. Hypertension defined as office pressure more than or equal to 140 over 90 mm mercury, consistent with previous guidelines. Treatment targets. Lowered treatment targets. The systolic treatment target for hypertensive patients has been adjusted to 120 to 129 mm mercury, a shift from earlier guidelines which recommended higher targets. This change aligns more closely with US guidelines and reflects a growing body of evidence supporting lower pressure. Targets for better cardiovascular outcomes. Emphasis on measurement. Out-of-office measurements. The new guidelines stress the importance of out-of-office processor measurement, NTS to account for phenomena like white coat hypertension and masked hypertension. This approach aims to provide a more accurate assessment of a patient's blood pressure status. Lifestyle recommendations. The guidelines also emphasize lifestyle modifications, including physical activity, at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week. Dietary changes, reducing alcohol and sugar intake. Renal denervation. For the first time, renal denervation is mentioned as a potential treatment for resistant hypertension, although it is not recommended as a first-line therapy. Thank you. Share, subscribe.